Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm going to play another round of GeoGuessr on single player. In a bid to keep these videos a bit shorter, I'm going to give myself a time limit though of let's say five minutes per round. So the pressure is on. Let's see how we do. Okay. Start game. What a lovely rural countryside. This looks like the UK at a first glance. A few lovely homes set into the hills. Let's get a shimmy on, shall we? Now cars here are driving on the left. So that would confirm the UK, if it's European, in fact. And well, what does that sign say? Hmm, unfamiliar with that one. Perhaps that's just the road layout ahead. Let's carry on. Countryside is a little open, kind of arable. Stroke woodland. Oh, here we go. There's a sign coming up. What does this say? Roadworks. Great. Let's print past it too quickly. And we've got a junction up here. Let's see what this says. Okay. Castleton, Castletown, Kinney. Here we go. This might be the clue for us. L6012. Now, where is... That sounds Irish, so let's take a look in Ireland. Castletown or Kinney. Hmm. Castletown or Kinney. Uh, of course, it could be in the Republic of Ireland as well. Hmm. Let's try Northern Ireland first. Castle Wellen. K-I-N-N. -N. Hmm. Feels more rural than sort of around. Belfast. Hmm. Minute and 40 to go. I'm going to guess Northern Ireland, unless I get another clue. Let's quickly go the other way. Same road layout. A couple more houses up here. minute to go. Let's see how we can improve this. It might be the Republic of Ireland as well as Northern Ireland, instead of Northern Ireland, in which case, you know, I'll just put one in the centre. Come on. With 48 seconds to go, I think it's better to look at the map. I think it's Ireland, but I'm not sure where. I'll just try a quick scan. Castleton, Castletown. 
Castle Island. Hmm. Castle Town. Hang on, there's a few castle towns. Castle Town, Bear Haven. Hmm. Maybe the Republic of Ireland is a better bet. Okay, we're going to put a bet in the middle of it. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, we were not a million miles away. You know what? I think that that's pretty respectable. We were, in fact, down here. Where's, where's Castle Town? Can't see it immediately. But anyway, close enough. Close enough, I would say. Next round. Once again, we're driving on the left side of the road um, on another long road. Let's go this way. I realized, by the way, in the, the other day, in the last video, I got very confused between my north and south and east and west. I've discovered that's because the compass here I thought was inverted, so I thought white was the direction we're in, but it is red. Speed is 60. Unusual speed sign, not one I recognize. So that's why I was getting in a, in a twist over which way I was pointing, where the sun was, and so on and so forth. So I will try and do a better job going forward. Hopefully that's cleared that up. Still learning here, still learning. I'm not a pro. What's going on here? This is an interesting intersection. Folks here carrying bags, sitting in a truck. I'm really not sure of the landscape here. Ah, here we go. Here's a road sign coming up. Let's use this. This feels maybe African. Graytown. Cranksop. This maybe is South African, although I'm not sure. Cranksop. Sorry. Cranskop Stunga. Of course, the South Africans have Afrikaans, that sounds Afrikaans-ish. Greytown sounds European. Kranskop sounds, you know, sort of Dutch, I guess. Um, although I'm guessing, you know, I don't know exactly where these are. Kranskop and Greytown, remember those? The 60 zone. I think that would fit with the side of the road we're on as well. South Africa. I think so. Yeah, this looks a little more major. Let's have a look at this. Kranz, Kranzkop and Great Town. Let's have a look. South Africa. Now, I guess Johannesburg and Cape Town are the two most famous places here. To me, um, let's see, I'm just not sure based on an initial scan where these places are and doing this is not time efficient. We have a minute and 46 to go. Vryberg, that's a very Dutch name. Schweizer Renek, sounds more German. Klerksdorp, maybe, Johann, maybe around here is a better bet. Um, who knows, Barberton, Newcastle, Ladysmith, Greytown. Ah, hang on. Yes, Greytown. One minute to go. 
I, I think this is the grey town we're after. Where is the other one? Kranz nailed it. So, we're on a road halfway between the two. Is that right? The R74. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we we are facing to be clear now, if I've understood this compass correctly, north. We're on the red. The red is north. So it's one of these roads which joins it sort of northerly. If I just face down the road exactly. Yeah, kind of northern. Let's put a pin down just for a safety pin on that intersection. Of course, th these signs don't say how far to each, so that's kind of frustrating. We can't interpolate between the two, but I reckon perhaps this is a safer bet, actually. Yep, picked the right street. Of course, we started a bit further back. I should have remembered that, but pretty close. Very lucky there, finding Greytown. It was almost on the corner here by the time I saw it. Excellent, near Durban, Lesotho. Fantastic. Okay, doing well, next round. Hmm, initial guess would be sort of kind of Ireland again, I guess, or Scotland, I don't know. Sold, Daniel Henry Estate Agents. This kind of house style here with the stone corners and the stucco. This is obviously a new development. Let's get out of here. Oh, I picked the wrong way. The one way street. Yeah, the homes are all going up. How do we get out of here, Google? Tell me. Kelly and Co. To Turkani Road, Maghera. Maghera, I do not know where that is. Maghera, I assume they're a local property company. <sighs> Kelly is Irish, I guess. I mean, sorry, one thing I should have seen originally. .co.uk confirms we're in the United Kingdom. Uh, so in, t in Irish terms, Donnelly, yeah, this is Ireland. Northern Ireland is what I meant. We, so .co.uk, we're in Northern Ireland here, not the Republic. Uh, what was the name of the town? I've forgotten it already. Donnelly Cabins, that could be a name, not a place. Maghera. Maghera mm. Felt. Hmm. I don't know, it's that one. Maghera Felt. That was lucky. Let's keep going. We've got a couple, few minutes here to burn. Right. Oaklands. That sounds, that looks very pretty. Oaklands. Let's go down the road and see if we can see a sign. All kind of new properties. Clannaruri. Clannaruri, that was the street name there. Road ahead closed. Lagan. Is it around here? Am I barking up the wrong tree? So maybe Clagan is a place? <sighs> I'm sticking with Northern Ireland, but I'm not sure. Need to, yeah, the UK flag there. We need to get out of this town and see. 
A minute and 28, I'm going to put a pin in the middle of Northern Ireland in a second. Just to... I don't really want to go back because I've got to navigate out of that housing estate. What does that say? Tresson Road. Perhaps that's just a uh, sort of more Gaelic translation. Lovely homes, very green, feels Irish, feels Northern Irish, I guess, in this case. Lovely countryside, beautiful homes. I worry that I'm wasting time here now going down this road. It's a bit endless. I'm just looking for a sign. Come on, give me a sign, any sign. Are we entering a town here? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna put one down near Megara Felt, I guess. Maybe on a country road out of it. I think that that's as close as I'm gonna get. Oh God, I hope it's nearby. Three, two, one. Oh, we weren't uh, that bad. Not bad. Claudie. Where were we? Stryer Darren. This is the new housing estate we were on. Oh, we were close. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, I, I guess I don't recognize this town. Magera felt. Forgive my pronunciation or lack of it. Um, I'm not well brushed up on my Northern Ireland towns. But anyway, I think, frankly, I've been quite lucky so far. And that's another one. Next round. These speed rounds are doing, I'm doing better than uh, when I have the time. So that's amazing. Well, I shouldn't speak too soon. Where are we? This could be tough. Okay. Kozan Oglu. Not some words I recognize. A lot of gardening work going on. And we are in a town. I can't go this way, it doesn't seem. Back to the start. Nope, that's not a sign. Basketball court there, that's good to see. Yes, okay, interesting. So we are kind of, where is this? This looks rural and then we're in a kind of a built up area, kind of in the middle of nowhere, look at these these hills in the distance. Um, all these kind of buildings sprung up. This feels kind of Central Asian. Of course, that's a huge That's a huge area. Not exactly helping. Um, I think we're just going to have to go down here and hope that we come across something of interest. I'm not sure at the moment. Doesn't feel, um, here's a sign. Oh, was that the sign I saw? Oh goodness, what have I done? Where am I? Yeah, I think, it, I, think I, I think I was coming down this road. Okay, let's go to the roundabout if we can. So it's not, it's not Cyrillic, tell 621, but it could be kind of, I'm not sure. Li Bank. What is that, is that, is that Polish? Sorry, don't think it's Polish. 
Turkish. IL Bank is actually what it says. Any other clues here? I don't know. It could be Turk. It feels that kind of writing feels Turkish to me. Kayas Sahir Rikesi, Kayaseri, Kayseri. I think we're in. I'm going to put a bet on Turkey at the moment. 141 to go. We're still not that close. Right, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to go to Turkey. Goodness knows. Kayaha. Yah, Yali. Yah, Yali. Hang on. Yes. Okay. Putting a pin down right now. Is that... Ankara. Just trying to figure out which... which. Maybe, so maybe Kayseri is the town we're in. I think we might be on one of these roads around Kayseri. But we, we did start in it. So maybe kind of. Somewhere like that. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're going to get too much closer. I was very lucky to see Kaseri again. Um, yeah, Yali. Let's, let's try and look at that. No, I, I'm out of time. Go for it. Uh, well, once again, I'm pretty happy with that. 40Ks away. 39.3 to be precise. That is lucky. I recognize the, right, the, uh, the kind of language here, I guess, the spelling, not the place names or Kayseri itself. Um, but, you know, recognize the, I guess kind of the use of letters as, as Turkish. That was lucky, but, you know, a good, a good educated guess, I think, from me. Stumbling across Kayseri was pure luck, really. We started out here in the east. So big enough town to fall at this level of Zoom, which is good. Fifth and final round. Another open road, untarmacked in this case. These are my nemesis kind of roads. This could be anywhere from the United States to Kazakhstan, even maybe Africa or South America. Doesn't feel Australian. This is really got a hope here now. We stumble across a clue. Otherwise, what should we say, people? As a first bet, which way is the car going? We're traveling south, so we're on a north-south road, and the car is on the right-hand side of the road. So it could be, you know, the States, for example. Let's go a long way here before we see any sign, sign of life. There are some, there is some snow on the mountains in the distance as well as some clouds. You know, it's not dead flat. It's not dead flat. This could be my downfall. Quick safety scan, see if I've not missed anything. I'm going to bet, what am I going to bet? 
in the US, they, they usually kind of tarmac their roads, I guess. So maybe it's not there. Maybe it's not. Tarmac. It does look very well graded. You know, it looks smooth, right? It doesn't look kind of rubbish. Um, goodness, this could be it. This could be anywhere. Uh, unfortunately, I'm no kind of shrub expert. I don't recognize, you know, the species of plants here, what, what might be native to where. Um, so possibly, well, that won't help. Oh, the road kind of forks here. Oh, that was a thing of interest. I wonder why they do that. I don't know. I'd be, it's easy to default to the United States, but there's no real logic there. There's no reason to do that, really. It's an un uneducated guest. Um, no, not having much luck in this direction. I will stop and go back. See if we passed anything this way. I mean, it doesn't look like you pass much here. Could be South America. Oh, some cattle. Wow. That is interesting. There is some kind of pillar here. <sighs> Should have looked at this a, a while ago. What do we have? This might be the only clue. And guess what? I can't read it. I'm feeling maybe South America. I'm feeling South America. Don't know why, just think in the States this might have tarmac on it. There's cattle. I think we're at altitude. And I think, you know, it's still clearly kind of mountainous. This feels like maybe it could be Argentina or Chile. You know, somewhere kind of up around here. I'm making it up, of course, I'm making it up because I don't know. There's not much to go by, and I can't read that, unfortunately. It's just out of... So that's my guess. I'll come back in a few seconds and confirm it. See if we see anything else on the way. The answer is no. Good effort, but unfortunately... One lone tree. Nothing by it. Let's confirm we've got something there. And I don't think we'll get any closer. This could be anywhere. Could be on the opposite side of the world. Wish me luck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Remarkably close, frankly. I'm thrilled with that. Could have been up here, could have been Saskatchewan for all I know, really. Could have been, I don't know, somewhere in rural Australia, even Africa, as I said earlier, Mongolia. Could have been anywhere, and look at that. I'm pretty thrilled. All right, game summary. Game finished, well done. Your total score was 22,027 points and I earned 52 Geo coins. As I said, I think I did much better in this speed round than I've done in the rounds that have taken me over an hour. So I'll aim to keep this up and make things more manageable for you guys watching these videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.